facing difficulty in making decision. So come join and watch this video at Jake Hosanna's channel and learn how does the game theory helps in our decision making. Hi, Assalamualaikum. Welcome back. I'm Cik Huzana and thank you for watching my channel. Today's video lesson is prepared to help my previous students for the preparatory in the SDPM. So today, I'll be sharing a lesson on game theory and our main focus is how the basic strategy can help us in making the correct decision. So let's not waste our precious time. Can we start? Firstly, we must understand what is the two-person zero-sum game. A two-person zero-sum game is a two-player game in which the gain of one player is the loss of the other, so that the total gains and losses will sum to zero. In the two-person game, each player knows his or her available strategies, the opponent's available strategies, and their pair of metrics. So what is a pair of metrics? The table shown is an example of a pair of metrics. It represents the pair of for the two players. By convention, a pair of metrics shows the pair of or gain for the role player. The numbers 0, 1, 2 and negative 10 are the points for this game. The negative entry in the pair of metrics indicates a loss for the row player but a gain for the column player. So how do we interpret the pair of metrics? Here we have two strategies, strategy 1 and strategy 2. If player A plays strategy 1 and B plays strategy 2, then A will lose 10 points and B wins 10 points. If player A plays 1 and player B plays 1, then both players will not obtain any point. If player A plays 2 and B plays 2, then A will gain 2 points and B loses 2 points. And lastly, if player A plays 2 and player B plays 1, then A will gain 1 point and B loses 1 point. Strategy in a game theory is a player's plan of actions against the opponent. It is a complete algorithm for playing the game, telling a player what to do for every possible situation throughout the game. Each strategy is made independently and is unknown to the other player. In a game, players will determine the strategies for the outcome of the game. In a pure strategy, both players choose a single strategy. And one of the pure strategy is the play safe strategy. In terms of pair of metrics, the play safe strategy is a strategy that minimizes the risk. The role player selects the maximum strategy whose minimum pair off to the column player is the largest, while the column player selects the minimax strategy, whose maximum pair off to the row player is the smallest. Here is an example how the play safe strategies for the two players are determined. Firstly, we need to find the minimum value for each row. So for row 1, the minimum value is negative 10. For row 2, the minimum value is 1. Hence, the maximum of the minimum value is 1. Next, we need to find the maximum value for each column. Thus, the maximum value for column 1 is 1. 
the maximum value for column 2 is 2. Hence, the minimum of the maximum value is 1. The value of the maximum equal 1 implies player A must play strategy 2 to minimize his payoff to the column player. While the value of the min max equal 1 implies player B must play strategy 1 to minimize his losses. Thus, the play safe strategy is that A must play strategy 2 and B must play strategy 1. Here is another example how to determine the play safe strategy for a 3 by 3 pair of metrics. The first step is to find the minimum values for each row. Row 1, the minimum value is negative 4. Row 2, the minimum value is negative 7. And for row 3, the minimum value is negative 6. Hence, the maximum of the minimum values is negative 4. Next, find the maximum values for each column. Column 1, the maximum value is 3. Column 2, the maximum value is negative 4. And for column 3, the maximum value is 4. Hence, the minimum of the maximum values is negative 4. The max mean value of negative 4 suggests that the player A must play strategy 1 to minimize his payoff to the column player. While the min max value of negative 4 suggests that player B must play strategy 2 to minimize his losses. Hence, the play safe strategy is player A must play strategy 1 and player B must play strategy 2. Observe that in the two examples given, there is an equilibrium point in the pair of matrix, where the max min and the min max values are the same. This point is known as a saddle point. So the value of the saddle point is the max min value or the min max value. Note that not all games have a saddle point. When there exists a settle point for the payoff, the game is said to be stable or game has a stable solution. Thus, both of the players should play based on the value of the settle point as it will minimize their payoffs. Thus, the strategy that is profitable for the role player is to play the strategy that correspond to the max min value and the column player is to play the strategy that correspond to the min max value. This will give a play safe strategy. The settle point payoff is called the value of the game. It is the expected value to one of the players when both play a perfect strategy. Thus, from the values of the game, we can determine which player does the game favors. That is, if value of the game V is positive, then the game favors the role player. If value of the game is negative, the game favors the column player. If value of the game is zero, it is a fair game. For the previous example, the settle point is the point where the maximum and the minimax values are the same. Therefore, the value of the settle point is negative 4 and the game is said to have a stable solution. Thus, the value of the game is negative 4. Since value of the game is negative, the game favors the column player, which is player B. In this example, we are required to show that the game is stable and state the value of the settle point. Find the value of the game and state the player it favors. 
and also determine the optimal strategies for each player. The optimal strategy is the strategy that is most profitable to the player. Again, the first step is to find the minimum values for each row. Row 1, the minimum value is negative 2. Row 2, the minimum value is 0. And row 3, the minimum value is negative 5. Next, find the maximum values for each column. Column 1, the maximum value is 0. Column 2, the maximum value is 3. And column 3, the maximum value is 1. Hence, the maximum of the minimum values is 0 and the minimum of the maximum values is 0. In the playoff, observe that there is a point where the max min and the min max values are the same. This point is the saddle point. Thus, since max min is equivalent to min max, there exists a saddle point. Thus, game is said to be stable. The saddle point is 0. Hence, the value of the game is 0. The game is a fair game. So the optimal strategy is player A must play strategy 2 and player B must play strategy 1. In this example, we are required to show that the game is stable and state the number of saddle points. Take note, there can be more than one saddle point in the payoff. Next, we need to find the value of the game and state the player it favors. And lastly, we need to determine the optimal strategies for each player. Again, find the minimum values for each row. Row 1, the minimum value is 4. Row 2, the minimum value is negative 5. Row 3, the minimum value is 4. Next, we need to find the maximum values for each column. Column 1, the maximum value is 6. Column 2, the maximum value is 8. Column 3, the maximum value is 4. Hence, the maximum of the minimum value is 4 and the minimum of the maximum value is 4. Observe that there are two points where the max min and the min max value are the same. These two points are the saddle points. Since the max min is equivalent to the min max value at row 1, column 3 and row 3 and column 3, there exist two saddle points. Thus, game is said to be stable. The value of the game is 4. Thus, the game favors player B, the row player. And the optimal strategy B plays P1 or P3 and Q plays Q3. Let's summarize today's lesson. Firstly, we need to know the two-person zero-sum game. It is a two-player game in which the gain of one player is the loss of the other so that the total gains and losses will sum to zero. Then we have the play safe strategy where the player chooses a single strategy to minimize the risk. Thus, the row player must select the maximum strategy and the column player must select the minimax strategy. Then we have the settled point, which is an equilibrium point where the maximum value is the same as the minimax value. When there exists a settled point, the game is said to be stable. And lastly, the value of the game is value of the settled point. If the value of the game is positive, game favors row player. When the value of the game is zero, it is a fair game. When value of the game is negative, 
game favors the column player. That's about all. Thank you for watching. I hope that the lesson was beneficial. If you have any questions, please do ask in the comment space below. I will see you again in my next video. Till then, 